Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Cloud and I just wanted to talk about the best way to get XP after the recent patch in Battlefield 2042. They recently just took out the proximity grenade. They just completely removed it from the game and it was the best way to get XP. You'd throw it, mark a ton of enemies. They would all, you know, get killed because they're probably on an objective and you would get the same amount of XP as if you killed them all. So pretty OP. If you use it's similar to this, so if you just use a Casper's recon drone and you fly around marking enemies, it will essentially do the same thing. So that's what I've been doing. I just started trying it out. It's been working really well. I've gotten upwards of, in the 20,000s of XP for a round. And even in some of my best matches, just playing on infantry and vehicles, even in high kill games, I still only get maybe 15,000. So it's definitely better than that. It may not be the most exciting thing to do, but until they fix it, if they fix it, for now, it's a good way to get past all the starting weapons. And uh, that way, when, when I do go back to play infantry, I get to use stuff that I like, the guns that I want and all of that. And from the testing I've done, and in my opinion, Playing Breakthrough is way more effective because it funnels all the enemies to uh, two objective points at a time. And, you know, as opposed to Conquest where the enemies and your teammates are spread out all over the map at all times. So Breakthrough definitely makes a huge difference. You just float around an objective while your team is attacking or defending and you will just rack in the XP. It's really simple to do. And uh, the only thing about it is you got to keep your character in with the fight. And if you're, since you're using Casper's recon drone. His class also has the motion sensor, which is still active when you're looking through the drone. So if enemies get near you and try to sneak up on you, you can pop out of the drone by clicking E, look around, clear the enemies, go back to what you're doing move up a little closer to the fight, whatever you got to do. And it's a little bit cheesy. It feels a little cheesy, I won't lie, but it does help your team. I mean, you got to you gotta think about when you're not using a drone and you're going through, you're playing the match like anyone else would, you know, you're going to be glancing at your mini map from time to time. And all those red markers pointing out enemies, that's not from one person or a few people, you know, smashing the Q key, trying to mark all the enemies. That's someone in a drone. And now you know where they are and you can and get those kills much easier so it still helps it feels cheesy but i don't really see anyone complaining too much about it so once again it may not be the most exciting thing or most exciting way to play battlefield currently but if you want to grind through those starting levels and get to the weapons that are actually a lot of fun to use then this is definitely the best way to do it and they might patch this i don't know i mean it's kind of hard to say if they should it makes sense to make the drones you know a viable option for players but maybe if they knock down the xp a little less than the equivalent of getting a kill per you know mark if that mark gets killed it just seems a little too easy to get that xp so maybe if they knocked it in half maybe take it you know two-thirds of that maybe if you just got 40 xp i think that would balance it out a little better but as of now it is insane how much xp you can get in in such a easy method of doing it because no one even bothers you most of the time you can just find a good spot to chill and uh fly your drone around i think you get about mm, around 250 meters of distance before the drone gets disconnected so you can use that to put yourself just about wherever you want one other thing this is a little bit off topic but I, I, cause I wasted a lot of time looking at the controls, trying to find this, but there is no VoIP in the game currently. They're uh, supposedly going to be adding it uh, around a month after the initial release. So sometime next month, maybe we'll see VoIP in the game. And that's according to the Washington Post. Not that I use that as an actual source of good information, but it's there and I, I'm sure that's hopefully true. Cause VoIP is super useful. If you don't have a squad to play with, especially if you're trying to play Hazard Zone, not having VoIP makes that really difficult difficult because you're you're blindly trying to communicate with your teammates and it's a mess so i'm excited for them to add that in not sure why it's not in already but just in case any of you are wasting your time trying to figure out how to use voip it's not in the game yet uh, if you made it to the end of this video thank you very much and subscribe if you want to see more and make sure to leave a like and have a wonderful day